वेलकम एवरी वन टू माई चैनल जूनोसेस एंड पब्लिक हेल्थ दिस इज ए वीडियो सीरीज वेर विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट मेजर्स ऑफ डिजीज अकरेंस दिस वीडियो सीरीज विल बी पर्टिकुलरली यूजफुल फॉर द ग्रेजुएट स्टूडेंट्स बिलोंगिंग टू द डिसिप्लिन एपिडेमियोलॉजी पब्लिक हेल्थ एंड वेटनरी ग्रेजुएट्स फॉर द सब्जेक्ट वेटनरी पब्लिक हेल्थ एंड एपिडेमियोलॉजी हाय आई एम डॉक्टर राधाकृष्णा एंड लेट्स स्टार्ट टूडेज वीडियो टूडेज डिस्कशन टॉपिक इज ऑन बेसिक कंसेप्ट ऑफ डिजीज क्वांटिफिकेशन द वीडियो इज वेरी मच एसेंशियल टू अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट बिफोर गोइंग डीप इनटू द सीरीज सो व्हेन एवर वी आर मेजरिंग अ डिजीज एट द पॉपुलेशन वी नीड टू आंसर थ्री बेसिक क्वेश्चंस व्हाट इज द अमाउंट ऑफ डिजीज वेन द डिजीज अकर्ड एंड फेयर द डिजीज अकर्ड The question, what is the amount of disease, can be answered using two terminology, morbidity and mortality. Morbidity refers to the number of diseased individual in a population, and mortality refers to the number of deaths in a population. The second question can be explained using the term temporal, which denotes to the occurrence of disease in terms of time. we can take a example if we are studying bovine tuberculosis in different times of the year or in different months of a year then you can say we are studying the temporal pattern of the disease the third question can be explained using the term spatial which denotes the occurrence of disease in terms of space and we can take the same example if you are studying the disease bovine tuberculosis in different district of odisha or different geographical regions of india then we can say we are studying the spatial pattern of the disease in addition there is an important term which is known as demography it defines as the characteristics of the population the population may be characterized using various parameters such as age gender educational status or occupational group etc by characterizing the population uh, it can be further useful to define the specific groups which may be risk to a disease the last and the foremost important measures of the disease occurrence is population at risk whenever we are estimating a disease at population in the most of the cases the denominator includes this population at risk if we go its by meaning then it is the population at risk of developing the disease it can be the entire study population or a subset of study population for example if a disease is affecting a children those who are below 5 years of age then we will only include those in the age group as the population at risk So this is all for today's video. If you like my videos then please like and share it so that other can also learn and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.